A Time for Children was a three-year pilot project that has gone so well that we've decided to continue it. And we gathered Christian educators together. Many Christian educators are untrained theologically. A lot of them come right out of their congregations. They're selected because they're a person who loves children. Um, some of them have an education background, some of them don't. And so we gathered those Christian educators together and uh, I have a model of spiritual transformation for children that I completed when I did my doctoral dissertation. I thought to myself, can is this teachable? Is this reproducible? Is this something that we can teach people and have a tool in the local church that they can use? So we gathered these people and uh, we did that and, and and it has been successful. Um, we've transformed children's ministries and also we've taken people who some have a theological education, some of them don't, and we've empowered them uh, to be effective in ministry. So it's been very exciting. I think Sacred Circle time has been a really special um, part of worship in my kids' lives. Uh, a few weeks ago, things got really quiet in my four-year-old son's room, and he was sitting there with his light off and his blanket on the floor with some of his favorite trinkets and mementos spread out and all of his stuffed animals in a circle. And I said, Noah, what are you doing? And he said, oh, I'm having sacred circle time with my stuffed animals. I just taught them that Jesus is the light of the world. And it really just hit me how important that sacred circle time that we've started implementing is because these kids are really getting something from it. When we've started the sacred circle moments with kids, it really has created the space for them to experience God together and with one another in prayer. That it's, as so many people say, oh, Sunday school needs to be fun. Those kids need to come and have lots of fun. What we're finding is that kids can have fun anywhere, but children are really hoping and longing for places where they can feel more sacred, where they can experience God in deeper ways. So by modeling for them that space in a Sunday school room where they sit down in a circle and they have a, a central altar um, with different significant objects on it, that that has given them more of a concrete understanding of space, but then it's helped them to carry that outside because they, they then are the sacred space that's then going out into the world.